It's going to be a long, hot summer, and this is the best time of year to make hot water with a do-it-yourself solar hot water system. There's nothing quite as nice as a solar hot water shower on a hot summer day in Walton, New York. During the summer, I collect firewood from my backyard on Pine Hill. In the winter, I use this wood to heat my house and my water. But in the summer, I rely only on sunlight to preheat the water. I carry firewood across overgrown logging trails and do some bushwhacking to get at the standing dead trees. They are dry and pre-seasoned. Unfortunately, I have to take down a few saplings to clear a path for the tall, dead cherry trees. Standing dead trees are not the only source of good firewood. There are many treetops and full trees on the forest floor that loggers have left behind. Eventually, I'll have to cut down some live trees to heat the house, but for now I have enough scraps left by the loggers. The dead trees are cut into manageable logs and roll down Pine Hill. Sometimes they land within inches of the woodshed, but they often like to hide under a pile of bush. After a day of collecting and rolling and splitting logs in the summer heat, I am dripping wet and ready for a solar hot water shower. Anyhow, by now you are probably wondering what this has to do with solar heated water in summertime. Well, for one thing, my wife and I like to take more showers in summer than winter. Sunlight is available all year long, but if you're in a location surrounded by trees or tall buildings like me, you might not get sufficient sunlight in winter. For six months, I heat my house and water with firewood. However, during the spring, summer, and fall, sunlight is all that's needed to preheat water. Of course, you'll need a few homemade collectors flush mounted on your south or southwest roof. Ground mounting is also possible, but ground mounting systems take up valuable real estate. The southwest orientation is ideal for Walton because the morning fog is normally gone by the afternoon. Besides collectors, you'll need a place to store the heat. I like 55 gallon used plastic drums that can often be obtained at no charge from dairy processing companies. Next, you'll need a pump to circulate the water from storage to collector. It's always best to isolate collectors from the storage tanks. Last but not least, you'll need a differential controller to activate the pump when the collector gets hot enough. This will ensure a net heat gain from the sun. Details of a do-it-yourself solar hot water system may be found on my website, JC Solar Homes. If you have questions, feel free to contact me. Put the sun on your team and grab some summertime heat while it's still available.